There's a lot of men that's walking around completely defeated. I mean, no sense of purpose, living life aimlessly, just winging it, depleted of all their energy, complacent with their lives, which is keeping them stagnant from their optimal potential. Something strange, I know. But what if, now just hear me out, what if there was a way to feel like you can conquer the world, boosting your confidence, feeling an energy that some say feels like superpowers, a drive that'll guide you to success, be a man with charisma, and become an alpha male. But it doesn't stop there, no, no. What about that book you wanted to write? That short film you wanted to create? That career you wanted to venture off in but had no courage nor creativity? Well, it's that same energy that'll help you. Now, you're asking, great, but how do we tap into that energy? Ah, I thought you'd never ask. Let's talk about sexual transmutation. Now let's dig deep and embrace the strange. Something strange about sexual transmutation. The universe is beautiful, isn't it? It's dark, it's mysterious, yet it's beautiful. Nikola Tesla once said, quote, If you want to know the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. End quote. To understand the universe is to understand thyself. Well, because we are made of the same. Hmm. That's actually very interesting. We are all energy, and it takes energy to create. So, what are we creating? Because it seems like a small percentage of people are the most innovative that are manifesting success. Is it just courage and money that led these men to success? Because let me tell you, there are many men with money and courage that are directing that focus and being reckless. So it can't just be that. Guys, we are losing touch with our inner being, the universe within us. Why? Well, I suppose we are being drained of our vitality. Look at what we are exposed to day by day. Sex. Everything is about sex. Movies, commercials, music, videos. Women are walking sex toys. They are nothing but trophies men can show off. and. You are driven by sex. Men will drop everything just to get some of that booty action. But notice how men feel after it. We feel depleted, drained of vitality. That purpose, that drive goes away. Why? Because the mind has received the message that we have procreated by ejaculating. <laughs> Something strange. Why do you think men go to sleep right after? Not only did we ejaculate, but we lost that energy buildup. See, we were built to survive and procreate, but we got to a point in this world where we are constantly giving up our energy that we have none left to survive and thrive. This is why semen retention is important. Whether this is new to you or not, you cannot deny that the entire notion is intriguing. It is common belief that regular masturbation is healthy. <laughs> but what else is new? If you've been following me, you'll know that all we do is expose dogma. However, it's not our fault for believing it once upon a time. We all trusted experts. Experts, my ass. Anyway, it takes a load of energy to create sperm. It does. It's probably one of the main reasons why men live shorter lives on average than women. Maybe. It is said that the production of sperm in order to create a life, it takes a part of our own life with it. It's why the French refer to an orgasm as le petit mort. I probably just completely butchered that, but anyway, it means little death. <laughs> Yikes. Well, I suppose lowering the frequency of ejaculations will result in you living longer, aging slower, and looking better in an appearance sense. These are all valid reasons to practice sperm retention. However, the benefits don't stop there. This is why it's crucial men are encouraged to quit porn and masturbation and conserve their sperm. 
want to attract women naturally and effortlessly, want to have sense of purpose, want to spark that romance in your relationship. Many men in the modern era report symptoms such as depression, low energy, anxiety, fear of women, and social awkwardness. This isn't normal, and as many people would do, they searched why. Doctor visits, specialists, and hundreds, if not thousands, and wasted cash. But we all know they know jack about health, at least most of them don't. But they won't say that the increased confidence, removal of depression, anxiety, fear, and social awkwardness is the buildup of sexual energy. You will receive huge increases in motivation for life and success. You'll suddenly want to do more than lie in bed and watch Netflix all day. The reason why it feels like superpowers for so many. I mean, more energy, depressed, gone, more confidence, obviously, happier, less anxiety, increased social skills, highly motivated to succeed, highly motivated to do more, highly motivated to approach real women, increased fat loss, increased muscle growth, improved workouts, improved sporting performance, deeper voice, improved skin, thicker hair, increased hair growth, less sleep required, brighter eyes, clearer skin, improved body language, more alpha male behaviors, increased attention from women, and this goes on and on and on. Now how does that occur? Of course it can be explained. See, sperm is full of proteins, nutrients, minerals, and enzymes that are key to our health, immunity, and appearance. After around two weeks of sperm retention, the body decides to reabsorb the sperm. This means that all of those food groups are transported around the body and used to improve us. This is why we see better skin, brighter eyes, thicker hair, bigger muscles, increased facial hair growth, a smarter you, improved memory, and a cure for hair loss. Humans have a built-in desire to reproduce and pass on our genetics. If you satisfy this need by masturbating, then the body and the brain believe that you're doing well in life. The brain does not know the difference between real sex and masturbation. This means that the men everywhere are tricking their brains into thinking that they are a hit with women. By refraining from masturbation, your brain panics. This is where the extra benefits come from. The body decides to improve you in every way possible in order to attract women, which makes sense. The brain is programmed to pass on genetics. If it can't do that, then it'll do whatever it can to encourage mating. This includes making you look better, giving you more motivation to go out and make more money, approach women, provide you with confidence, and give you a deeper voice. Women are attracted to testosterone and masculinity. This is natural. By improving a man's physique, voice, health, personality traits, body language, and pheromones, it enables a man to become what women want, producing superpowers, and it's merely tapping into what nature intended. In the animal kingdom, you will see males peeking around mating season. Humans are one of the only creatures without a mating season. We're constantly wasting this sexual energy all throughout the year rather than letting sexual desire build like 99.9% .9 of creatures on planet earth. This is why athletes are told to refrain from sex weeks before an event, like Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali. It is said that many known men practice this as well, men like Mark Twain, Leonardo da Vinci, Sir Isaac Newton, Nikola Tesla, Beethoven, Sigmund Freud, Plato, Dalai Lama, Steve Jobs, Socrates, men, a lot. It's what Napoleon Hill called sexual transmutation. In his book, Think and Grow Rich, he explains sexual transmutation is the process of converted sexual energy into some other drive, motivation, or energy of a higher order. And like Isaac Newton said, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transformed from one form to another. And that's exactly what sexual energy or desire has to do with getting rich and manifesting your dreams. The thought of sex is a powerful stimulant for our mind. It gears up our enthusiasm, creative imagination, and creates an intense desire. What else stimulates the mind to nearly the same degree? A burning desire for something such as fame, power, or money. Napoleon Hill states, when harnessed and redirected along other lines, this motivating force maintains all of its attributes of 
keenness of imagination, courage, etc., which may be used as powerful creative forces in literature, art, or in any other profession or calling, including, of course, the accumulation of riches. Getting yourself into that heightened state of emotional intensity that Hill describes, you will be more aware of your hunches, turned on by whatever you are working on or thinking about, more sensitive to stimuli, exuberant and expressive, more energized and inspired, more driven to take action. Those are all qualities you can draw on to become exceptionally minded and create the life you desire. To access that state of mind of geniuses, you must stimulate your mind so that it reaches a high vibration. You must have an intense desire and be enthusiastic, similarly to when you're motivated by sex. This will bring your mind to the state of awareness described above. In this expanded state of consciousness, you have access to sources of knowledge that you would not otherwise have. When you're involved in everyday reality, thinking, worry, obsessing, trivial pursuits, when all of your passion and sexual energy is focused on the pursuit of someone and the attempt to win their affection, your mind fires on all cylinders, all gears. The same happens when you transmute that passion and energy into your work, a business idea, or earning money. Here's a couple of examples of how you can use sex transmutation to access this genius state of mind. Stimulate your mind by thinking of a current or past genuine love and passionate sex. Bathe your mind in these thoughts. It will heighten your awareness and take your mind off of your present problems or challenges. With your mind off of any unpleasant realities of life, it may wander in the world of fantasy. Once there, it may yield exciting ideas, goals, or plans that could change the entire financial or spiritual status of your life. Or let's say you've been working on something, but you're stuck. Once you're in this higher state of mind, think about what you want to achieve. Then focus your mind on all the information you have gathered and all the actions that you have taken so far. Then allow a perfect mental picture to arise of what remains unfinished. Hold that vision and let it saturate your mind. Then let it go. Clear your mind of all thought and wait for the next step to flash into your mind. The key is to consciously and deliberately cultivate and use your imagination and intuition while you're in this heightened state. Your imagination and intuition are direct links between your finite mind and your infinite intelligence. As you can see, sex is exhausting, but it seems like it's all we want to chase. Maybe we should prioritize ourselves and be protective of that energy. It'll lead to a healthier and happier life.